Good morning, squad. Welcome back to another episode of season four of the uh, mini British Columbia excursion. And this morning, we are at CMH Purcell Heli, uh, Heli Skiing Adventures on a very um, foggy, snowy morning here. But we got shuttled up here to the helipad and we went through a bunch of um, safety briefing. We did like whole muck you know, beacon searches, probes, like did the whole thing for about a good hour. Avalanches, they they can, when they first start, they start really slow and you have this like magic one and a half seconds at the very beginning to, to, to really improve your situation. If you're traveling with any sort of speed, skiing or snowboarding, then trying to get off the, the moving snow is the best thing. And it, it's, it's a weird feeling when you're on top and it's moving, you're skiing on something that's moving, but you wanna shoot off to the side as best you can and get off the thing. Once it's moving and if you've been kind of swept away with it, uh, you're, you're kind of along for the ride. And it's like, there's a lot of force there, right? It's like a wave, you're being tumbled potentially down, but you wanna try your best to fight. You're gonna protect your, your head as best you can, your airway, all this important stuff right here. And then uh, really just try to fend off any objects that are coming towards you. So uh, boulders, trees, that sort of thing, we don't wanna be near. So if you can, try to skull away or push off if you get close to them as best you can. And then just like kind of hold on. And as you're being pushed through, really focus on protecting this area and try and keep your airway open for as long as you can. 524. <laughs> Here. So at the beginning it's kind of tricky because it's telling us to, you know, it's figuring out where it is and it's pointing all around. But in an avalanche you would know it's not that way, it's this way, right? Because there's avalanche debris over here. Start to get 20 and 15 meters away, we're going to want to slow down a little bit. Our accuracy is starting to really matter. And as we get really close, we're going to slow down and get even lower. Um, because then our accuracy is really important. So follow along with me here. I've got 18, 17, 16, 12, 10, 7, 8, 6, 5, 5, 3, 3, 8, 3, 1, 2, 7. Okay. So something changed. As soon as we get within three meters, we get to three meters and less, our transceiver is telling us to search in a different way. So we can all, the maybe not the folks at the back, but um, those of us at the front have that annoying screeching noise. Let's all take one step back that way. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And we'll talk about what to do next without the screeching hat. And you have to work against that spring to get that latch to open. The door will slide out of the way and then everybody can climb in. Works best if the first person in goes to the far side and then you kind of intermingle your feet and alternate. And then uh, you may sit back here as well if you want to. Give yourself a bit more room. Put your seatbelt on and what we do here is uh, everybody puts their seatbelt on and then we leave the door open until everyone's buckled in. And then when the door closes that's the signal to me that everybody's ready to go. They just sent the first group out on the heli. So I am on the second group with riders like Burke, Abe. It seems to be like um, definitely the, the riders that are pretty freaking sick. So we have a sick group for this. And what's really cool is that we're not running an, an avalanche airbag, so we can bring our own backpack. So I might actually try to take this big camera, see if I can get some shots. It's high risk, but I think it'll be high reward for heli day. So they're gonna come back, pick us up soon. I'm a little nervous with this weather that we're flying in this, but they definitely know what they're doing. So I'm not gonna worry about it, but I just thought if it's not clear, you don't fly, but should be sick. As you guys can probably tell, the uh, weather 
made it so we were unable to fly today. They sent the bird up for the first group and within probably like a few minutes, they brought the bird back down. Could not get sort of past the uh, weather. So we waited probably like two hours, I wanna say, maybe even more, just to see if the weather would have changed. But unfortunately, it did not. So to extract the most out of the day in the trip, we went up to Kicking Horse, which is just down the road. And it's already 1.30, so we only have a few hours to rip. All the crew is still coming up here, so it should still be fun, few, few laps, but no heli this trip but that's what happens when you have one day to heli you have a very a very small window and it's probably one of the worst visibility days i've ever seen all good wait have you read the waiver i did read it yeah do you understand the waiver? I do. Cool. And do you understand that by signing the waiver, you waive your legal rights if you're involved in an accident? I do. Perfect. So, uh, name and then signature. Perfect. That one too. Thank you. Jordan. Have a good one. Thank you too. Can we get one of you putting your shit on? Oh, okay. So you don't to take a ticket. Yeah. Old school. Money shot. Half day. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah? I might have been one ridge over. Might rip that tree, tree line. That, I think that looks, that looks good. It might, it might yeah, be might be some good snow in there. It looks like it might be there. It might be rock. Yeah, I'm sure. Actually, such a fun run. Another day on snow, guys. First time at Kicking Horse. Visibility is essentially zero. Uh, we're trying to find some trees. Beautiful. Even though there's low vis, it's beautiful conditions. Like the way the trees are. Yeah, I feel like right where we started out yeah. was the better spot. The original blast, and that was a nice lap you did there, bud. <laughs> I think maybe a little further into the yeah. trees. Yeah. Let's go skiing. Following Abe. When in doubt, I just follow Abe. Ooh. We have like a bigger crew now than we did yesterday, even. Um, so, pretty fun. And then we drop. It's so soft. <laughs> that 
was fun, dude. Whoa. That was fun. You got it. I'll follow you. I'm not going to go very fast. Okay, I got three skis. You got it. Nice. Sick. Sick yeah, it does. This looks sick. Right? Holy. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. That looks sick. I'm doing that. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. A shitty day. I know. <laughs> Smooth, nice, and soft. That yeah. sounds very good. That was a gnarly line. That was really fun. Yeah. Still feels like we see it all day. Got some hair? Oh man. It's okay. It was covered, but now it's not. I mean, <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Spirits are high. Spirits are always high. <laughs>
You all right? Yeah. Okay. Damn. Did you just kick right out of it? I thought he was just asking if he's ever really early. That's what it looked like, man. Well, that day was rather eventful, but um, honestly, those three laps that we did at Kicking Horse felt like, an, again, an entire day of skiing, skiing with people like that. It just is so crazy. Every turn, every run, every side hit, it's like you're just going all out. So even though we skied from like two to four, it still felt like we had a sick day. So the last part of the day, even though I am like just exhausted, is dinner and like little igloo things. And I'm, I'm the second group. And so we, we are not getting picked up till 8.30, which is like in 10 minutes from now. So super late for me, but we're gonna do it. So time to go eat dinner and some igloos. I can take those mittens and, and give them, them to Abe. Yeah. Or do you want to? Cool. Okay. It's, yeah, it's fine. That way you can dry them out. Thanks, Ian. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Are we Diego? Pardon? Are we Diego? I'm not sure you're part of this. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I don't know if you want to video it. And then... Yeah. Oh. Well, no, go ahead. Right. Yeah. Loud in here. Did you see your head, dude? Oh, yo, it is toasty in here. Welcome. Uh, this is cool. We had one of the couple of these in the restaurant in Whistler, but they the fire marshal closed. Actually, I need lumbar. Are we serious? The fire marshal out here in Golden. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, that's your way through. I was missing those. They were left on the bus. Uh, it's warm in Sorry if I kept you guys waiting. So Tomorrow is shaping up to probably be the sickest day of the trip. We're gonna be heading about two hours west to Revelstoke to spend the day out there, which is, should just be absolutely insane. But uh, I got hooked up with some Stance Icon socks um, from one of the Icon people, and then Abe actually gifted me this Icon hat as well, so. I think we're gonna rock it for a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, it's kind of subject to the mountains. That's a, a real depiction of what heli skiing can be like. So we made the most of the day. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. I am going to bed because I am so exhausted. Peace out.